so many times and stuff like that and I will say too the refs had some horrible calls in that game today some that were just outright missed and some that were bad calls um, but okay I had to get that out of the way but a win is a win um, offensively Cam Newton phenomenal game today I mean I don't know how you can't stand up and cheer for him great great game um, and not only running the ball he had the one awesome touchdown run had the other run on third down that just went forever, and he just kept breaking tackles, and it's just, wow, you know. Um, in the first half, they struggled in the red zone. Both teams did. Um, but, you know, second half, they made some adjustments, came out, and started converting, did a good job. Um, the one uh, long Cam Newton pass to Steve Smith um, that he was uh, tackled at the one, just, I mean, my gosh, that's a, that's <laughs> Like the, one of the better NFL throws you're ever going to see. It was phenomenal. Right on the money. Um, just a great job all around by him today. Um, also, John Stewart had a good game. Overall, offensive line, had a couple sacks, but you know they had pretty good protection most of the time and were uh, pretty decent in run blocking today. Um, Steve Smith, fantastic game. Uh, Legadu Dene actually was decent today. I saw he uh, got there on some blocks. Really well today. I'm um, gonna give him props for that. Cause we've been really uh, putting him down the past several weeks, and he's he's earned those put downs. But uh, you know, the last couple weeks, last week and this week, he's he's kind of improved. So I mean, I'll give credit where it's due. He's he's he stepped up a little bit. Um, LaFell had a couple of good catches as well. Um, overall, you know, good game offensively after struggling in the first half. Just, uh, they seemed to get a little out of rhythm in the second quarter. Um, but, uh, you know, reestablishing the run at times and uh, just nice, smart passes, smart plays all around made it a fun game. Um, all right, and defensively, this is where the big problem is. Um, first, let me, uh, you know, give my kudos to the players I think did a good job today on defense, and that's, you know, number one is Antoine Applewhite. You know, this defensive end that we picked up, uh, he was cut, and uh, bringing him in, he... <laughs> He's been playing pretty well. I mean, today he was phenomenal. Uh, had had a sack. Had a really awesome. I see. I think it was. I think he had a, uh, a breakup and then the sack. It happened in the first quarter, and then uh, you know he was just there pressuring the quarterback all day. Had the had the sack fumble. Um, almost had a pick later in the game. You know he was just all over the place. Uh, just really good job by him. You know Greg Hardy and uh, Charles Johnson also had their moments today. Um, and Chris Gamble, shout out to him for uh, having his uh, first interception and in, I think it's been a couple of years since he's got a pick. Uh, it was good to see him get back uh, get back to that job. I mean, that, that ties him, I think, for the all-time leader in, uh, in picks in Carolina history. Um, but it's been a while since we've seen him do that. Um, but the big problem on defense, our linebacker core, and, and I mean, I know there's injuries, John Beast and Thomas Davis not being around anymore. But, you know, they're horrible. I mean, they're terrible. Yeah, anybody can see that. You know, not being able to stop the run, coming up, not making tackles, and on, you know, pass defense, can't defend the pass at all. They're horrible. I mean, we were just carved up in the middle of the field in that zone all day today. Um, it, 
it's very aggravating to see, you know, on, especially on the third and long plays where a receiver is wide open in the middle of the field with three guys standing around him, giving him 10 yards of cushion, nobody in front of him or around him to try to make the play on the ball. A lot of that's the linebackers. Uh, they're just they're not making plays. They're biting up hard on play fakes. They're not they're not playing coverage. Um, and honestly, we got lucky today. Uh, just that second half, we kind of slowed him down a little bit. But early on, you know, High Tower running all over us, and he got lucky that he got hurt. Santana Moss, same thing. He was doing well, but got hurt very early in the game. Um, who knows what the outcome would have been had those two guys not went out? You know that they could have easily, easily beaten us uh, just because of the very, very poor defensive play. Um, it, it's got to get better, and it's it's probably mostly personnel as opposed to play calling. But um, you know it, they've got to step it up. Got to step it up. Um, offense can't just go out there and outscore everybody you know, week in and week out. Um, just got to see some improvement. And uh, really not much to talk about with special teams. I know they had good coverage on a couple of punts, but overall not any opportunities. I think we only forced Washington to punt one time. Um, so, And every kickoff was a touchback, pretty much. Uh, well, there was one thing. Kilo Polaris uh, t- <laughs> taking out that kickoff. I don't know why he did that. But, um, you know, took it out, got back to the 10-yard line. There was a penalty. It knocked us back to the 5 it's just it's bad. I, I don't I don't like this kickoff rule. Starting at the thirty five is ridiculous. I think everybody else seems to think so as well. We'll see if that gets changed back in the off season. Um, I don't know. Uh, it needs to be changed. But um, overall, that's that's my uh, sum up of the game. I, I think we can get a streak going here if we uh, tighten it up on D. That's really where it lies. And next week we've got Minnesota coming to town for a second straight home game. Yeah, Minnesota struggles. They're starting Christian Ponder now, and you know he's actually he's already thrown a touchdown pass that I've seen early in their game against Green Bay. You know he might actually have something for us next week, and you know they have Adrian Peterson, who, good gosh, he he's really scaring the crap out of me right now, considering how he can't stop anybody on the ground. Um, it, it's going to be tough to stop AP big time. Uh, we've got to tighten it up, and uh, hopefully we can get out there next week and do that. But I'll try to have a preview out for you guys um, later this week. I know I didn't get one out last week. It's just been super busy, and I apologize for that. Um, but I just haven't really had a chance. Um, so leave the comments in the comment section who are your MVPs for the game. You know, I've, I've told you who I think uh, really deserve the game balls for today. And um, just kind of give me your thoughts on the game. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Subscribe if you haven't already. Almost up to 200 subs. I think I need like two more people to have 200 subscriptions. So thank you guys for that. Um, But uh, we'll be talking to you soon. Go Panthers.